Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mate and today we are continuing the House of Clegane playthrough. I'm going to swap Marjorie out here and try and better relations with High Garden. My plan is, because Silverhall is allied to Theon, if he joins, I'm dead. And he's also got some good lords of the Westerlands being able to come to his aid. I myself do not. I've got a few from the Reach, and I've only got uh, Arnold or Arnold Clegane. So I need to better relations with Willis. And I also would like to find... Or perhaps I'm going to have to wait until she's married. And I'm of course in debt at the minute, which is not good. So we may actually have to hold on to this claim for Silverhall for a while yet. So what's the Iron Throne doing? Blackwater Rush. Okay. So he is going to marry my other daughter, Rosamond. To potentially give me a very good... Well, potentially a, a king. If he accepts the matrilineal marriage, which I, which his father or mother did accept, Desmera. If he doesn't accept that, then I may not marry him to her at all. Bloody hell, this woman's got a claim on everything. <laughs> I watched my nephew Walder play with other children yesterday. I noticed that he didn't want to share his toys. I don't want him to be greedy. Get rid of your greedy trait, please. So my third Gregor has a stutter, which isn't so good. Marjorie, you're pretty happy. Okay. Willis. I would have to hope you join me. If I needed you. Also... I shouldn't have got rid of tendering. I'm a bit gutted about that. However, we'll have to make do. Let's give you two... Yeah, why not? I can't claim that ever. That's one problem with this mod. The likes of Rosby and Duskendale, and all these provinces that are supposedly always part of the Iron Throne. You can never declare war on them independently. Which I think is a little bit cheap. And I'm ill. Damn it. <laughs> uh, religion. Let's go to a... Tournament. Actually, it's probably not the best thing to do when you're ill, but... Oh good, I'm alive. The tourney had finally got underway with the first day of the list beginning. I failed to make it through. God. Well, I was ill. That's fair enough. Um... It's a shame Silverhall is uh, coming back to its former strength. I'm not going to get 5,000 anytime soon. So I may well struggle there. His income is not that good apparently. His troop count is very good. No other paramountcy. Oh god, Tyrion is certainly the best. Best paramount. At the minute, apart from probably the Reach. 
of which we are at war with them. He's attacking over Greenfield. Isn't Greenfield... It is. Ooh, so Highgarden's trying to make some claims in the Westerlands. He's got 50,000 troops. Good grief. And he's also got Dawn on his side, but we've got... Absolutely no one. We've only got the Iron Throne, so it looks as if Greenfield is going to be... The Reach's new kingdom. They've made some good expansion, the old Reach. Mainly due to the ineptitude of the Iron Throne, it has to be said. Right. Hit again. I should just not look at that. <laughs> so, a lot of my courtiers are a little bit amateurish. So if we get enough money, we may invest in some new ones. I could do with having these guys retrained. If possible. So we've got 75 quid. Roll them. How big's Harrenhal these days? Not very big, but the fort itself is colossal. So it's a, I'm surprised the garrison, garrison isn't any bigger. Castle Rock. Lannisport. Why does that say Southgate? Oh, it's the county capital, fair enough. Oh, that's just so stupid. <laughs> Wait, am I married to her? No. Looked as if I was. Let's come on, let's improve relations with the Reach, please. My beloved sister is concerned that she's not married. Oh, I'll find her someone nice. Ooh. Lord of Castamere. Anyone else? No, right, so the Lord of Castamere it will be. You will marry him and I will be allied to him. So how many troops can he give me? Not a lot by the look of it, but... Oh, God. That's abysmal. That's truly abysmal. Still, it gives us a Westerman ally. He gains one learning. Crap, he's getting shy. Oh well. Gregor. You need to be educated by... Is he the genius? No, definitely not him then. Someone who's good at diplomacy. The Meister, yeah. That's a good shout. And be educated for court. Gotta make you as hospitable as possible. For our friends of the Westerlands. Right, so. Is Tyrion finally rebelling? He is. He wants independence. So he has now crowned himself King of the Rock. So we will... No, we can't. As my marshal, as you marshal your forces for war, I cannot help but... Uh, okay, so we've just received word that our kingsman, Sir Dale, has chosen to honour himself over his flesh and blood. He is uh, Ramsay Snow's son. Ah, he's a good fighter. But he has uh, gone against our king, Tyrion the Imp's wishes. So Tyrion should win this pretty easily. And then it looks as if the realm is going to be pretty divided. Got a king in the north, a king of the Reach, a king of Dawn. It looks as if Renly 
it's still working for Dawn, but a Baratheon is on the throne of Dawn. Ah, so Renly's son is actually on the throne of Dawn. So the Martells have been completely out done here. We've also taken a hit in terms of number of troops. Not quite sure why that is. It can be lonely during a long... Oh god, I've had another bastard. Jesus. So let's join the Crown Loyalists. Still waiting on that... Uh, uh, relation to improve. He's considered a lunatic. Which is interesting. Uh, as I travelled by carriage on a road in Pink Maiden, I passed by what appears to be an old shuttered inn. The sight of it fills you with questions. What forced them so to close down? Could you do a better job than the previous owners? Perhaps this would be a golden opportunity to improve your stewardship. Let's buy the inn. Let's see what happens. So. Who's just died? My Castellan... Oh dear lord. Eight. Ugh. Decent administrator. Jesus. The vagrants in our new inn have been evicted. The holes in the roof have taken... have been patched and... the whole building has been thoroughly aired out to cleanse it from the most offensive odours. New staff have been hired. And the time has come for me to decide what to name the inn. The bottomless tankard, the mead fountain, the justice choice of the drunken squire. The bottomless tankards, tankard sounds good. Everyone can drink till their heart's content, but it doesn't sound very business worthy. If everyone's drinking bottomless cups, I'm making less money. Let's go for the mead fountain. It's got a bit of class to it. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, I am going to end the episode here. I've gone vastly down in terms of troop numbers, probably pretty close to Silverhorn now. Yeah. So I will uh, make this decision and everything else in the next episode. We we'll, should have an alliance with Tyrion at some point, with my daughter marrying his son. Uh... We also may have someone on the Iron Throne with my other daughter. In fact, we do, and she's accepting. Oh, ho, ho, okay. Well, we'll accept that, because, I mean, having a Clegane on the Iron Throne is just... It's amazing. Sweet. Okay. Well, that was a good end to the episode, then. <laughs> um... Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode.